So I wanted to make a video about zucchini today because our garden just started exploding with zucchini. And since I'm trying to lose baby weight right now, I am kind of going paleo-ish, not being super strict about it, but I'm definitely trying to reduce um, my grain and carb intake right now, um, at least while I'm trying to lose the baby weight. So I saw on, I believe it was Facebook the other day, um, this idea about making mini pizzas out of zucchini slices. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. That's genius. And it's really easy, fast dinner to make. So let me show you how to make them. Heat your oven to 400 degrees. Can't really see that there, but it's 400 degrees. So first you slice the zucchini about an eighth of an inch thick and you line a couple of cookie sheets with some foil just for easier cleanup. And then you cut little squares of cheese. We're using the Tillamook pepper jack because um, that's what we have available, but you can use any kind of cheese. Mozzarella is obviously the most common kind of pizza cheese. So whatever you have on hand. And then you just need some tomato sauce. And we just have the Costco organic canned tomato sauce in our pantry, so that's what I'm using. And then you're just going to spoon a little bit onto each piece of zucchini. Here they are with all the sauce on them. And then you're going to take the little squares of cheese that you cut up. You're just going to put one on each piece. All right, and there are all the pieces of cheese on the zucchini. And since I am feeling exhausted and lazy tonight, that's all I'm doing. If you wanted to put on more toppings, you could totally do it. Just treat them like little like muffin pizzas or something. So there we are. We're going to put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted and the zucchini has softened just a bit. There they are. Super, super fast, easy, light summer dinner. And you get a little serving of veggies and a little bit of protein with the cheese. And so there they are. Let me know if you guys try it and if you try with any yummy toppings too. I'd love to know some good topping ideas. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye.